हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस लेट्स सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस वंस अगेन एयर वाटर एंड लैंड आर द फैक्टर्स इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सस्टेनिंग द लिविंग वर्ल्ड ऑन द अर्थ एंड फॉर फुलफिलिंग द बेसिक नीड्स दे आर कॉल्ड नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस इट मीन्स दैट एयर water and land all the things that it contains is necessary for all the living things on this earth so therefore air water and land and all the things that it contains are called the natural resources okay now let's move forward do you recall students what are the five layers of the atmosphere Okay let's revise it the layers of the atmosphere are named as the troposphere stratosphere mesosphere ionosphere and exosphere we learn that air water and land are the natural resources now let's understand each of them in detail so first of all the air the air in the atmosphere around the earth contains nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide six inert gases nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide water vapor and dust particles the figure alongside shows the different percentages of the gases present in the air the nitrogen is 78% which is the largest in the air then comes the oxygen oxygen is the 21% argon argon is 0.9% carbon dioxide is 0.03% and other gases that is the other inert gases and water vapor dust particles comprise of 0.07% of the all the air all the gases in the air okay hope you all understood students the proportions of the various gases in the air as you know students air is a mixture of several gases and is the chief constituent of the earth's atmosphere chief constituent means the main constituent of the earth's atmosphere besides these gases air also contains water vapor and dust particles we have learned the various layers of the atmosphere now the amount of the gases in the air is the greatest near the surface and it decreases that is the amount of gases in the atmosphere is decreases as it goes higher and higher from the earth surface that is air becomes rare at higher altitudes rare at the higher altitude means it becomes very less as it goes away from the surface of the earth gases are not found in the exosphere and beyond students we just learn that air consists of many of these gases so let's see why these gases are important or what are the uses of gases in air so let's see some uses of gases in air the first one nitrogen nitrogen helps living things to build the necessary proteins it is useful in the production of ammonia and in air tight packaging of food stuffs now you have seen many of the packets which are air tights like chips packets and all that air cannot go in so how will you make it they use nitrogen for this the second one that is the oxygen the 
oxygen is necessary for respiration in living things and for combustion what do you mean by combustion combustion means burning of a substance the third gas is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide plants use it for producing their food and it is also used in fire extinguishers we have seen the fire extinguishers that are placed in all of the major buildings in schools and in hospitals so carbon dioxide gas is used in these fire extinguishers the fourth type of gas is argon argon is used in electric bulbs the bulbs that we are light in our homes in public places so argon gas is used for this purpose then we have the helium gas helium gas is used for obtaining low temperature and also for generating lift in airships okay airships are of aeroplane now next is neon neon is used in decorative lights and for street lighting we can see lighting at the time of diwali lights on street so neon gas is used in that next is krypton krypton gas is used in fluorescent tubes flashy lights bright light which we can see so krypton gas is used in that and then we have xenon gas xenon gas is used in flash photography some of the high power cameras they use flash lights so they use xenon gas so i hope you all understood students uses of the gases in air okay now up till we have learned about the air the constituents of the air proportion of the various gases in the air some uses of gases in air so today's homework for you you have to write the new words in the notebook